For being a hairstylist, it all started for me during the pandemic, I'd say. Um, there was so much time to really be bored and kind of explore things that you might be into. And so I'm, I've always really been into fashion and things like that. So I started experimenting with my hair. And then from there it kind of took off and then in grade 11 I had the opportunity to take my co-op class and through there um, I was recommended to the shop and in November of last year I was here half days and it's been like that since last year. Really what's happening is that a student takes a co-op in a placement that is connected to a skilled trade and that skilled trade signs them on as uh, an apprentice a youth apprentice and their hours count. So the co-op student hours count, the, any uh, employment that they do outside of their co-op counts and then they can take those hours and translate them straight into their apprenticeship hours that they're required to complete as part of their training to get their final ticket. We have had Avery working with us for approximately a year now and uh, it's, it's been wonderful being part of the program. She's a tremendous help around the shop. We started her out with uh, answering the phones. That's really important so that people can book, because uh, they can book online, but a lot of people like to call the shop. Um, keeping the shop uh, free of hair on the floors because the, the barbers and stylists can slip. So we, she's been really help, uh, helpful in keeping the shop clean. Um, and as she's, now that she's in school, um, she, we're going, we've been uh, getting her uh, used to doing some cuts. And as her skills are refined, she'll be actually uh, taking clients in as well, just like the other stylists. So if I was to do this um, not during high school, it would be a much longer process. Um, by being able to do this through high school, I'm able to get my hairstyling license um, at an earlier age. And I'm also able to um, get my hours done, which makes the, just the whole process of becoming a hairstylist a lot faster. Like by the time I'm 23, 22, I'd be a full-time hairstylist and I'd have a career, which is pretty crazy and exciting. When she first started, she she liked playing with hair and she liked, um, you know, she, she's interested in the beauty industry and the fashion industry and didn't necessarily know that there was this quick of a pathway to get into it and she's excelling. She's really um, finding her passion and, and in that also finding some uncomfortable learning that is going to take her really far. I'm impressed with her.